ladies, this is Jackie Tomlin, and this is your general reading. This is for the week of June 7th, 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget, if you're seeking a psychic reading, it is at JackieTomlin.com. Also, if we decide to extend today's reading, a link to that will be in the description box below this video, as well as everything else I offer. Okay, so this is a week of, we're in retro up until the 22nd. This is definitely the time frame of the unexpected. Really coming in hard for my Aries. Uh, not in a bad way. I just want to throw that out there. But also there is a lunar eclipse on the 10th. I mean, not a lunar eclipse, a solar eclipse. You're under the lunar eclipse super moon now. So now we've got more energy coming in with the solar eclipse on the 10th. So let's jump in here and see what we got going on for you guys. And this is for my Aries. This is for your week of June 7th. 2021. Okay. Aries, we start with the Four of Cups. Okay. Unexpected offer. A lot of you, that's going to be an unexpected offer in love. With that, I've got the Queen of Wands. Now, this is another fire sign energy. This is that of a Leo. Okay. Um, someone that is grounded, centered, holding your ground. This could be you, you know, setting your foot down, setting your boundaries down. And with that, we have the Ace of Wands indicating the new beginning and that new beginning is right now. Okay. With that, Aries, we have the Eight of Cups. Love it the way it's pictured on this card. Okay. Walking away from the past. See the past? It's cloudy. You know, the future's got the sun shining and the new door opening. You're walking away from something. You've had your film. You're closing the door on the past. Center of the card reading, we have the Page of Cups. Another unexpected offer of love. I want to throw out a Pisces may resonate with you, okay? That's twice you've gotten the unexpected offer of love. And then we have the star. Beautiful energy. The star comes in with wish fulfillment. Now, not only is this the wish fulfillment, is saying any delays that occur this week are actually in your favor. With that, I've got the Six of Wands, okay? And the Six of Wands comes in as total victory, total success. For some of you, you have an audience. For others of you, this just means that um, you might be surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by, but it's, it still screams victory and success. Then we have the Emperor. Dominant, prominent type person, take charge type person. This person actually kind of comes in to save the day. Okay. And with that, look at there, the Ten of Coins, just Ten of Pentacles. This is the highest financial card in the deck, also indicating new money. So let's see if we can clarify these for you right quick. When we'll start up top with the Four of Cups. Twice here in this reading, we've got an unexpected offer of love. Keyword being unexpected. Okay. Okay. What do we have here? With that, we have the Seven of Cups. What is coming into you right now is what you've been manifesting. It's the energy you've been drawing into you. It's what you want to see happen. On the Queen of Wands, there it is again. The Ten of Pentacles. Highest financial card. It's come in twice. Okay, and you've got two tens here as well. Both tens representing the beginning stages of a new beginning. Okay, if that makes sense. And the Ace of Wands comes the Page of Cups. Page of Cups comes in with a good business deal. Um, but it also, there it is, Unexpected Offer of Love. You've had that here twice in your reading. Uh, representing that Pisces energy. The Eight of Cups comes with the King of Pentacles, financial stability. Also want to throw out that a Gemini may or may not resonate with you guys. And the Page of Cups comes in with the Page of Swords. Page of Swords, happy, carefree, aloof. Want to throw out there a Taurus energy may resonate with you guys. And then I have the star. And on top of that star, we have the nine of wands. And that's that, you know, that crazy energy of you're anxious and you're happy and you're carefree and you're excited and you're overwhelmed and you're all of that rolled into one. Kind of just typical during Mercury retro. On the six of wands, we have the five of wands. 
still some challenges ahead. Okay. And for whatever reason, I'm going to say it's after these challenges is when I see the victory and success. And with the Emperor card, we have in the love life, the Two of Cups. Happy Union. Okay. Could be date night as well. And with that, we have the Ten of Pentacles again coming in with that Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups says don't overthink things. Get out of your own head because you're killing your energy by overanalyzing. But I also have two fives here, and those two fives do indicate challenges. Okay, so not everything is perfect. It is retro. It does happen. Bonus card for the center of the reading, we have the Two of Swords, which is um, the making decisions. And for some of you, it's decisions you've been putting off for too long. All right, I'm not going to extend this reading because since we've got cards repeating itself, but we are going to throw down a couple of those cat cards to see what else my Aries need to know for the week of June 7th. 2021. See what we have here. These are very cute. All right. And we come in with the Eight of Wands. You know, the Eight of Wands, look at this. This is that happy go lucky energy. Okay. You know, there's only two what I call happy cards in the deck. This is one of them. This is total happiness, total contentment. Um, not only is it total happiness and contentment, it could be some love errors flying around there too. And then we have, there it is again, four cups, the same way your reading started. That unexpected offer of love. Definitely coming into play for my Aries over and over again. With that, I've got, what do we have here? We have the King of Wands. It's an Aries and an Aries. That's what you look like as a cat. That's what you look like. Okay, Aries and Aries. A little bit of stubbornness going on. Okay, a little bit of stubbornness, just a little bit. And one more for you guys. Look at there. You come out with the magician overriding this entire reading. I knew we didn't have to extend. The magician. This is getting everything you want and everything you desire. It's on the table before you. You know, this is it. And unexpected love. What can I say? Aries, thank you for joining me. You guys have a fantastic week. JackieTomlin.com for psychic readings. And I'll see you soon. Bye.